everyone, my name is Cindy and I have three easy Easter spring looks. This is an off the hook challenge, so be sure to hit the subscribe button to get some awesome inspiration. So let's get shaking. DIY number one, two golden spring bunnies. The supplies needed include one large wooden ball, one medium wooden ball, one small half bead, two oval flat pieces of wood, 1.4 inches, some wood glue, and some bright rust-oleum gold paint. I equate bunnies with spring, new life, new beginnings. We all know that bunnies have nothing to do with Easter, but everything to do with spring. I love springtime because everything is beginning to move and grow and be born. And I saw these bunnies on Creighton Barrow site and they are a clean, abstract, minimal design, but I chose to paint mine bright gold. I glued a half bead to the back of the large ball for the tail. I took the large wooden ball and a flat bottom and placed the medium ball on top, kind of slightly putting it to the back. Next, it was time to put the ears onto the bunny. I used two oval pieces of flat wood and cut the bottom clean so that it would adhere to the medium bead on the top. One piece was put on the left and one piece on the right. And this is so they would look like bunny ears. I like the natural look, but I thought it would look fantastic sprayed gold for a modern look, so it would be off the hook. I placed them on a lavender book cover and it looks so good. So let me know what you think. The hosts are Crafting in Mimi's World, DIY Craftaholic, CJ DIY, and the guest host is Pretty DIYs. These are sweet women and they make some amazing DIYs that are so lovely. So be sure to subscribe, like, save, share, and comment. And you will find the link to the playlist in the description box below. And there are some other crafters who will show you some beautiful things. So make sure you subscribe, like, save, share, and comment. The link to the playlist is in the description box below. On to DIY number two, clothes pin and bead carrots. The supplies needed include some natural wood clothes pins, some wood spring type clothes pins, and some beads. You will need four different sizes. Pumpkin and warm sunset acrylic paint, hot glue, raffia, and palm leaf green acrylic paint. I was inspired by duct tape and denim.com. There were wooden carrots made from clothespins and beads. The first carrots were made with wooden clothespins. I painted them with the color pumpkin acrylic paint and let dry. I drilled a small opening in the top and hot glued raffia to the opening. Now I will have to say these clothespins are some hard wood. I drilled a small opening in the top and wow I had to put a little force to it and then I also I had to be careful not to drill my finger also. I originally had put some natural raffia on top, but later I chose to dye the raffia with some green acrylic paint and it was a palm leaf green and I liked it much better. Next, the large carrot was put together with wooden beads. So I used two large beads 
two medium size, two small beads, and one tiny bead. I hot glued them together and painted them with warm sunset acrylic paint. And because the bead had an opening in the top, it was easy to glue the raffia in the opening. And I would say out of the carrots, I have one more that I'm going to DIY, but I want you to tell me which one you like the best. My favorite is the bead carrot. The next carrot is made from wood spring clothespins and these were used to make the last set of carrots. I removed the spring and painted each side with warm sunset acrylic paint. And when it was dry, I put some raffia at the top and hot glued the two pieces together. And I did that with all three. And wow, if this does not say spring, I don't know what does. The bunnies need something to eat, and carrots it is. And these were made for about $2, all of them. DIY number three, bunny napkin rings. I do a lot of tablescapes, and so I love to make different types of napkin rings. So the supplies needed include wooden bunnies, a white cotton tail, you need four of these or six, however many you were making for your table. And these were from Dollar Tree. Some wooden rings, hot glue, wood glue, antique wax, Mod Podge, and a napkin with a grass border. Now, like I said before, who doesn't like a pretty napkin? They make your tablescape sparkle and shine. And I got these wood bunnies from Dollar Tree and they had a little white tail on the back side. I set four aside and removed the tails and wiped antique wax on all of them. Initially, I was trying to go around the tail, but I realized I needed to remove them because I didn't want to get the wax on them and stain them brown. Then I hot glued the tails back on. On the front side, I put some Mod Podge on the bunny and a napkin that had grass on it. Now, it probably would have been really cool if I had painted just the bottom white and then put the napkin on, but I kind of like the way it looks. It's just very subtle, and I like that look. In other words, it looks as if the bunny is in the grass. Now, it was time to attach the ring onto the front of the bunny. I stained the wood ring with the same antique wax and when it was dry, I used hot glue and a little bit of wood glue to attach them to the ring. And I put the napkin through the ring that I had purchased several years ago. I think it was from Pier 1. And it gives a spring look to a rusted look. And just a note. This is about spring, not connecting Easter with bunnies, chicks, or eggs. I believe Easter is about God's love for us, dying on the cross to save us. He rose again, and because of that, He lives. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I love you all. And if you have liked what you've seen, please subscribe, like, save, and comment. Help me reach my goal of 1,500, or maybe even more, and when I get there, that same prize I've been talking about for quite some time will be awarded to someone who's a subscriber and comments on the video that reaches that number. So tell your friends. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And thanks for watching. I appreciate all of your comments. And remember, 
Joy is a decision, a really brave one, about how you're going to respond to life. Thank you. See you later. Bye-bye.